Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are good you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I am very well, teacher. Very well. Okay, good. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, no time to lose. Let's start the class. Okay, this is okay. our uh, lesson. What, what lesson number is this one? What lesson Four. number? 14, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Another, another, ah, another action. Another option. 15. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, it's lesson. Good evening. We'll be listening because. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, who was that one? Uh, Maria Jose. Okay. But you're here. Okay, today is uh, our fixing class. So this is, uh, uh, tomorrow will be the last class for us. So um, I hope that we are doing okay with the time. Okay, what is the, yesterday we were discussing some things. Uh, what was, uh, we were uh, working on, on a sentence, right? What is the woman doing over there? What is the woman what doing over there? Washing the dishes. Ah, she's washing the dishes. And what else do you see? Uh, Don Juan Antonio, what else do you see over there? Don Vicente says that the woman is washing the dishes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Juan Antonio, does, is she happy or she's, <laughs> is she's angry about it? Uh, she's angry about. Ah, she's this. angry about it. What okay. Uh huh. Okay, Catherine. And what else do you notice? Who's the guy over there? I guess it was Catherine who raised her hand. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, maybe Catherine. Uh -huh. Her husband. Ah, maybe, maybe her, her husband. husband. Okay. And where do you think the the woman is? Uh, her body language is <laughs> okay. She's not expressing happiness. That definitely. <laughs> She's not expressing happiness. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. And uh, and where do you think she is? Look up this guy. Who? Uh, what is his his profession and his occupation, Brenda? I think that is um mesero. What the, it's the meaning? Uh -huh. waiter. A waiter, a waiter, yes. And a Claudia waiter Mar or boss. Okay, a waiter or boss. Her boss. <laughs> okay, Claudia Maria, you want us to say something? Yeah, he looks like he's the the waiter and he's um giving her more dishes to wash. Okay, and he's, he's giving more happy. dishes to wash. So he's, he looks happy. It, uh, <laughs> yes, he might be saying, mm -hmm, I don't have to wash the dishes. Actually, the yes. correct, uh, uh, yes, we say also wash the dishes or do the dishes in this case. Okay, yeah, thank you, Claudia, good job. Good job, everybody. So I like when you talk to me. I really enjoy it. Okay, so yesterday, the situation that we have, uh, first of all, is Diana had dinner in a restaurant. That's Diana, the one, this woman. And then she realized she didn't have any money. So she offered to wash the dishes. If I For were her. Diana, I would say I wouldn't wash, I wouldn't have washed the dishes. I would have called a friend to bring me money, okay? Or I will uh, ha uh, call. I will have called home uh, to bring me money, okay? The second situation. I think we did the second situation, okay? Uh, John doesn't smoke. He was on a bus when the woman next to him started smoking he asked her to stop smoking if i were john who would like uh what would you do or what would i do 
Remember that you can use would have or wouldn't have, would have, and or should have. Yes, Don Vicente? Okay. Um, I got my my Your sentence. sentence. Okay. Yeah. John wouldn't have to ask to her to stop smoking. John would have to move to other place in the bus. Okay. Now you talk about John. Put it talking about yourself. Uh, in my case. Uh -huh. I, I wouldn't. You had you, you just have to uh, uh change the subject and instead of John, ask, uh huh, say I. I, I wouldn't ask to her to stop smoking. I would have to move to other place. Very good. Excellent. Mass. Excellent. So I wouldn't have asked her to stop smoking. I would have moved to yeah. the different place. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that was uh, very nice. Okay. Uh, someone else, uh, one of you guys, uh, raise your hand. The third situation is Bill invited two friends to dinner on Friday, but they came on Thursday by mistake. He told them to come back next day. If you were Bill, what would you do? Or what? What would you do? Does someone want to say your sentence? If you were Bill? Uh huh. Volunteer. I got it. But okay, let, it, let, let someone else uh, try to uh, okay, to do good. it, Don Vicente. Thank you very okay, much. Good. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh huh. If you were John, uh, Glenda, Catherine, uh, Eugenio, what would you do? I mean, if you were built, Sarai. Yes, Wendy. I wouldn't have invited to friend to dinner on Friday. Uh huh. Ah, okay. So, uh huh. I I have. They come. Sorry. Uh, I I would have uh, told them to come back the next day. Uh -huh, but that's that's Bill that that's uh, the, the what Bill did. If you were Bill in that situation, what would you do, guys? Bill says uh, he told. Um, I mean, the the situation he says uh, he told then to come back the next way, the next day. So they got Bill's house on Thursday by mistake. And then Bill say, no, 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 no way. The dinner is not today. It's tomorrow. So tomorrow. come back tomorrow on Friday. Uh-huh. Catherine? I will have bought it food. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, but the, the, the ideas that you were saying, who was first before Catherine? The idea that you were saying, Miss, it was correct. Okay, it was good, good, good ideas. Okay, so what is the what would you what would I do if I were if I were Bill? I wouldn't have told them to come back to the next day. I would have suggested going to a restaurant. Possibility, okay, uh, because dinner was not ready. Okay, <laughs> okay, the next one. Situation number, Eugenio, read four. situation number four. Bob's neighbors. Bob's neighbors had traded their TV on very low late at night. Uh -huh. so Call the police. Uh -huh. Okay. Late at night, and he called the police. Bob called the police. 
What would you do if you were bald? Uh, Bob. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have uh, tucked the door of my my neighbor. Neighbor. My neighbor, exactly. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Knock, knock, knock the door. Okay. Hey, stop. Uh, music. Okay, so you would uh, have called. I would have uh, knocked the door. Uh, ah. Knock, knock the door of my neighbor. Ah. Uh, and uh -huh. A mi vecino. Okay, yes. And, and say, hey, stop the music. Ah, okay. So in that case, maybe uh, your idea is very good, Eugenio. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. The important thing is your idea is very good. Someone else has another idea? Or not, uh, uh, no, no another idea because Eugenio's ideas is, is good. But someone else has another sentence? Jennifer Arevalo? Uh, okay. uh, Jennifer Arevalo, Sarai? Aha, uh -huh, Catherine. Ah, uh, Don Juan Antonio. Let's uh, let's see, Don Juan Antonio. Uh -huh. Number four, right? Yes, number four. For the number four, I will try to talk to uh, my neighbors about the. Uh, uh, TV is very low. Um, okay. And they put this uh, slow, the, the TV. Okay, down low, down low. Down low. Down low. The, uh -huh, that's, that's the call. Up low, up low, down low. Okay, uh huh. Okay, okay. good. Okay, good. Catherine, what is your idea? You raise your hand. All ideas we we are discussing. What what will I do? Okay, all ideas are okay. I'm not evaluating if it's good or bad. The objective is to talk. Aha, uh -huh, Catherine. Or someone else. Ah, uh, Sarai. Okay, Sarai. Okay. Um, I should talk or send emissions for mm -hmm. my neighborhood, and if they continue, I should call the police. Okay, so you should, uh, you would, uh, you should talk to, uh, should have talked to your neighbor, should have talked to your neighbor about the situation. If it's, he continues, then you should, uh, have called the police. Okay, good, excellent. All ideas are great. We are. Uh, this is the idea that the book do. Okay, in order to make it a little bit more logical. Remember uh, that in the on the first uh, examples over there here, we're using this form. I wouldn't have asked her to uh, stop smoking. I would have moved to a different seat. Okay, so in this situation, it says, what is the situation over there, Don Luis Alfredo? I wouldn't. Uh, what number, teacher? Uh, number four. The, uh, your the case, I, I wouldn't, the answer, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have called the police. Mm -hmm. I would have asked him to turn their TV down. Their TV down. Okay. TV down. So uh, a little bit logical is uh, me, for example, I don't want to, um, first of all, uh, this is an Spanish guy. Uh, como le decía el otro grupo, uh, algunos expertos uh, hacen de inglés una comparación, cierta comparación con matemáticas, porque debe de ser lógico, dinámico y usar mucho la inducción o la, ¿cómo se llama? Ay, se me olvidó la frase. Um, la lógica, ok, so, good, 
but I, your ideas were good. Okay, thank you very much, Don Luis. Okay, the next situation, uh, the next situation, Jennifer Arevalo. What is the situation? Yeah, we're doing good. Uh huh. What is the situation? Um, Helen, read the situation. I don't know. No, um, only read the situation. I'm not asking for uh, what would you do. Just read the situation. Helen had a house case. Solo lea. Okay. Helen had a house house case. Uh -huh. Who was supposed to stay for three days? It's three days. But she was still there three weeks later. Mm -hmm. Helen gave her a bill for her rooms and work. Okay. So, and work. Okay. What would you do? A bill, it means Helen is asking to pay for the room. And and she's given time to live. What would you do if you were uh, Helen? Who would like to try with that scent? What would you do if you were Helen? Raise your hands. Aha. Uh -huh. Raise your hand. I. Okay. Yeah. Who say I? Me, Catherine. Ah, okay, Catherine. <laughs> Go ahead. I will have asked her to. Okay. Uh huh. You finished the idea, Catherine? Are you there still? Hello, can Hello? you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. We lost you for a second. Uh huh. Okay, I said that I will ask her to leave, but in a polite way. Okay, I wouldn't have asked her to leave. I would have asked in a polite way. A Wendy. No, it was Wendy. Who had the hand raise the hand? I'm sorry, and my memory is very bad. I will have uh -huh. to stay for three days. Okay. Okay. I will I, I will have a cab her a beer for her room and board. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's that's the way that you would say. So in this uh, way, the, the, according to the best answer over there, but what you say is correct, okay? Because I'm asking you to talk, not, not evaluating you. It's important that you lose the, the, the fear. You not feel comfortable talking, okay? I And what is the situation over there? Wendy, read it. Wendy, read it. Yes, Susan accidentally broke. No, no, no. The, uh, the answer. The the answer for this one. Okay. Uh -huh. I will have given her a bill for her room in board. And board. I I will have asked her to leave. <laughs> More strict, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you wouldn't have uh, given her a bill uh, for the room. So you just pull on. You say, please. Uh, Please, uh, friend, leave my house for a lay. Okay, okay. Situation number, uh, situation number uh, six. He says, uh, Maria Jose is working. Cecilio Antonio. Ceci Cecilio, are you there? Okay, it says Susan accidentally broke a base at a friend's house. 
she decided not to say anything about it. If you were Susan, what would you do? Who would like to try? Susan accidentally broke a vase at a friend's house. She decided not to say anything about it. What would you, uh, if you were Susan, what would you do? What is a base teacher? Ah, the thing where you put the flowers. Uh, oh, carrito, okay. A carro. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is a base. Okay. Flower base, sugar base, or oh, sugar. Um, uh huh. I wouldn't decide not to say anything about it. I will have say it to my friend and maybe buy a new base for her. Okay. Okay. Good. Someone else? Uh, your sentences was good, Claudia. Uh, Claudia, it was good. I wouldn't have decided not to say anything that Claudia says. I would have offered her to buy a new base. That was she said. So this is a would have and things over there. So what is the uh, Sarai Trejos? What is the a learning objective of this activity. Practice un un stress and stress and stress. Stress. Practice un stress auxiliary. Have um, pass pass models. Have plus uh, plus models. Okay. So the sentence that we have over there, uh, Wendy Lisette, what is it? What is number one? This one. What would you have done? What would you have done? And number, the next one, Claudia Maria. <laughs> Okay, so that's those the things over there. Let's listen. Page 96, exercise 9. Pronunciation. See. Reduced form of have. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how have is reduced to of in the following sentences. Mm. What would you have done? I would have told her to leave. Okay, listen to the to the to the sound of have and these sentences. Listen again. Page ninety six, exercise nine. Pronunciation. Reduced form of have. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how have is reduced to of. How what is the re the reduced form of have? Oh, oh I get excellent. Let's listen in Only the following listen. sentences. What would you have done? I would have told her to leave. Now let's listen and repeat. I will make Page a pause. 96, exercise 9, pronunciation, reduced form of have. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how have is reduced to of in the following sentences. What would you have done? I would have told her to leave. What would you have done? Okay. What would you have done? I would have to told her to leave. Okay. So that's the thing over there. Uh, just a second. Okay, uh, what will be the, the other one? 
uh, in the order that I have it. Don Vicente, number one. Number one. Uh, you? What would, uh, no. No. Ah, the, this one. Letter B. Yes. You shouldn't have light. Light. Claudia, the next one. You should have been honest. Okay. Wendy, the next one. I will have said something. Okay. Uh, Don Juan Antonio, the next one. La última. The last one. Yes. I wouldn't have said uh, anything. Okay. Uh, Eugenio, number one. Let's try again. Yes, you shouldn't light. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have when, light. When I reduce, when I reduce to half, okay. I yeah. should light. Yes, good, excellent. Uh, Jennifer Arevalo, the next one. Number two. You should have been honest. Okay, Don Luis Alfredo, number three. I will have said something. Okay, uh, Sarain, the next one. I wouldn't have said anything. Good. Uh, Cecilio, let's try again. Number one. Cecilio, let's try again. Number one. Uh, Claudia Maria, let's try the again. Number one. You shouldn't have light. You shouldn't have light. Uh, Wendy, number two. You have been honest. Okay, Cla uh, Catherine, number three. I will have say something. Okay, uh, uh, Norma Lisette, number four. Norma, number four. I wouldn't. And uh, Andrea is there, number four. I wouldn't have said anything. Okay, good. So those are the things that we had to pronounce over there. So. No regrets. Do you regret something? Do you have a regret on your life? Do you know what a regret is? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's a regret. Uh, yes, it was who? Who raised a hand? Uh huh. Do you have a regret? For example, me. I should have. Uh, I should have uh, studied in Canada at college. Okay. I shouldn't have missed the opportunity. That's my big regret. I had the opportunity to study in Canada and college, but at the end, I miss it. So I should have studied college in Canada. I shouldn't have missed the opportunity. What is your regret in life? Uh huh. Another regret that I have. Let me let me let me write it down. Okay. Okay. The regret that I have that I was talking. Oh no, it's this one. The regret that I is, I was talking. Me is I. Sh Oops. Sorry. I can I. Sh I should have. I using capital I should have studied study 
studied in Canada at college at college in Canada. Okay, that's one thing. The another thing is that uh, I I shouldn't negative have missed again. I'm sorry. Um, have a miss the opportunity. Opportunity. What is Mr. Lopez regret? Study in Canada mm -hmm. and uh, you yeah. missed and, the opportunity. And he shouldn't. Okay, you're talking about Mr. Lopez. Let's say that, uh, Mr. Lopez. So, uh, because that's one of my regret. Okay, I have two. Okay, I have two. What is my other regret? Meanwhile, I'm writing this one. Please try to write something that you uh, regret about yourself. Uh, for example, uh, I should have accept, accepted the offer to live in Mexico. Uh -huh, in, in Mexico. That's another regret. Because someone offered me to move to Mexico and live there and help with a business, okay? So they said they want me. It, it was the the parents of a good friend of mine. They had a business in Mexico, and they say, "Hey, we would like to go to Mexico and live with us. You will be part of the family, and uh, you will run a business over there, okay?" So I should have accepted the offer to live in Mexico. What would be the negative? I? I shouldn't. I shouldn't, yes. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't miss. have miss also. You can say miss. Let's see, Um, but I can say miss. Uh, miss the opportunity. Igual, the, the same. The opportunity. Okay. These are uh, two of my big reg regret. Do you have a regret? Do you have a regret? But one of the things I, the, uh -huh. I don't remember. You don't remember. For example, me at originally I wanted to be a veterinarian. I didn't I didn't even think about being a teacher. Okay. Uh but because family matters or or uh situations of the country, it was not possible for me. But one of the things that I don't regret okay one of the things that i don't regret is being a teacher okay because i like it i really enjoy being a teacher i like to teach and everything i like to prepare my classes and everything so that's that's one of the things but these two things now i regret but i don't regret being a teacher i love to be I love being a teacher. I enjoy it. Especially when I have uh, such a nice people like you guys. Do you, does anybody Thank have a does anybody have a regret? Uh you don't have any. Uh -huh, Brenda? Yes, Mr. I regret uh not oh uh, shouldn't. Uh -huh. Shouldn't study um, 
uh, English. Ah. En, en, ¿Cómo le podría decir? Um, más antes. Ah, uh, before. De este tiempo. Uh, yeah, before. Before the time. Ah, uh -huh, before. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, sometimes it's happen. Um, yeah, especially, you know, I work at a school and I try to give my best to my students, but the students don't care about it at a school. And, you know, I try to be very dynamic. My classes are, I mean, I'm not the best teacher because I don't compete with anyone. I compete with myself. I always say, if today was good, tomorrow had to be better. Okay, and then, uh, but the students never pay, so that's, that's uh, uh, don't care too much about it. Just a couple of students. Yes, and uh, why do you regret that, Brenda? To, not to, uh, you should have studied English before and you should then have missed opportunities. Why do you regret? Oh, yes, mister, uh, I regret uh, in the last year. Uh -huh. I received offer to job the call center and I missed before because uh, I don't finish my study in English. Yes, that's, there is always a reason why you read something. I know someone, he's an accountant and he, uh, he got an offer at a good job, international job. But he missed it because he didn't speak English. <laughs> He's a good professional, though. He's a good professional, but no English. Okay, does anybody have another regret or should we continue? Come on, guys. We always have regret. Don't talk about your ex or by your <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that you might get in trouble. <laughs> no regrets about your ex. <laughs> that way you Ooh. will get in trouble. <laughs> Okay, sure. but there are things like this, uh, personally, I'm telling you guys, this is, this is two things that I regret. I had two opportunities, and, and a good Spanish, they say, las oportunidades no llegan dos veces. Uh, in my case, they can too, uh, because the second one was a very good opportunity, run a business over there. It was a small town in Mexico, but small towns in Mexico are very beautiful. It was near to Cuernavaca. And they say, we'll give you all the papers, all the things, but I'm here with you. And that's the important thing. Okay, so let's continue because I think uh, no regrets of it, okay? Uh, let me desactivate this one, the, the, the erase first of all. Okay. Okay. The listening. Okay, these are three parts of listening. There are three colors. And uh, it says, uh, it says, what is the, Andrea, Esther, what is the learning objective over there? Practice listening to description mm -hmm. of some problems along mm -hmm. with subject solu solution. So, uh -huh. so, okay, so it's in solution. Let's see, let's see. There are uh, three colors, and these colors are the color, uh, this, these people are calling Dr. Hilda a counselor on a radio talk show and complete. Okay, let's see si me sale over here. Question number one. What will be question number one? What happened to the caller? What happened to the callers? Okay. Uh, Don Vicente, Brenda, yeah. Andrea, and let me see, uh, Don Juan Antonio Eugenio, try to answer number one. Question number one for uh, the three colors, okay? Focus on what happened to the colors, okay? Uh, Jennifer, uh, Don Luis, uh, Saraí, Cecilio, and Claudia Maria. What is uh, question number two? What did the color do? What did the color do? Please focus answering only 
that question for the three colors, okay? No, okay, no teacher. question number one, no question number two. Uh, uh, Wendy, uh, Catherine Vasquez, did I mention you before? No, verdad, Catherine? No, you didn't. Okay, uh, Norma, Noé, try to focus on answer question number three. What is question number three? What should the caller have done? Uh -huh. What should the caller have done? Uh, take your pen, your notebook, and write ideas, phrases, words, okay? So please, okay, let's listen. First of all, I'm going to play the audio and only listen to the conversation. Nobody does, uh, nobody does anything, okay? Okay. Only listen, only listen. Page 96, exercise 11, listening. Part A, listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello? Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's, she's dating an older man. Oh, now how old are these two people? My daughter's 18 and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him and, and now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still wanted to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had a bad accident. Where is your mother? She's in Florida, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent a telegram to my father, and I... I told him, well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Uh, I'm calling about a problem. Oh, it's kind of a personal problem. It concerns work. Oh, yes. Go on. Well, uh, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago. Everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up. And, uh, well, I finally got really angry at one of my co-workers, and, uh, to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And? What happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. Uh, he won't speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry, either. That's true. But what should I do now? It's easy. You should simply apologize to your friend and say that you were a fool. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. I'm Dr. Hilda. Until the next time. Okay. Uh, 
three uh, general information, general culture, uh, three things that North American, Canadian, British people do not talk about it. It's money. How much do you make? They don't care. Religious, they don't care Religion. what religious that you are. And Politic. poli politics, yes, they don't Polit talk about it. So it's... Uh, that's a very delicate topic. Okay, now please, uh, I'm going to play it again. We have plenty of minutes, like 15 minutes. I'm sorry, guys, We I had an issue with um, Zoom uh, at the beginning, so I came, that's why I came a little late. But I will take those minutes from you, okay? I really apologize. So we'll dismiss at 9.06. I'm sorry. Okay, now. Don't worry. Uh, okay, it's now. Okay. Thank you very much for understanding. Uh, now, uh, the people who are going to answer number uh, one, what happened to each color? Just use phrases or ideas, color one, color two, and color three. Uh, the people who are going to answer number two, what did the color do? Okay, color one, two, and three, and the last one, which is, uh, which is uh, what should the color have done according to Dr. Hilda. Okay, let's see. Don't try to write as complete sentences. Just write phrases or words that give the idea, okay? Okay. Page 96, exercise 11. Listening. Part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello? Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's... she's dating an older man. Oh. Now how old are these two people? My daughter's 18 and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him and... And now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still wanted to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had a bad accident. Where is your mother? She's in Florida, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well... I sent a telegram to my father, and I I told him, well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Uh, I'm calling about a problem. Oh, it's kind of a personal problem. It concerns work. Oh, yes. Go on. Well, uh, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago. Everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up. And, uh, well, I finally got really angry at one of my co-workers, and, uh, to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And? What happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. Uh... He won't speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. 
And you shouldn't have gotten so angry, either. That's true. But what should I do now? It's easy. You should simply apologize to your friend and say that you were a fool. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. I'm Dr. Hilda. Until the next time. Okay, let's uh, check your answers or finish. The Page 96, time. exercise 11, listening. Part A, listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello? Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's... she's dating an older man. Oh. Now how old are these two people? My daughter's 18 and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him and... And now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still wanted to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had a bad accident. Where is your mother? She's in Florida, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well... I sent a telegram to my father, and I, I told him, well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Caller I, number three. Uh, I'm calling about a problem. Oh, it's kind of a personal problem. It concerns work. Oh, yes, go on. Well, uh, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago. Everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and, uh, well, I finally got really angry at one of my co-workers, and, uh, to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And what happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. Uh, he won't speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry, either. That's true. But what should I do now? It's easy. You should simply apologize to your friend and say that you were a fool. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. I'm Dr. Hilda. Until the next time. Okay, guys, we'll give the answers, okay? Uh, never mind with the answer from the book. Let's uh, try to make the answers. Okay, the people who were to who were um, uh, who were going to answer uh, the first question for uh, color one. Uh huh. For color one, what's happened to her? Uh huh. Yes, Tom Vicente. 
Uh, well, I take note something about the first call. Uh -huh. For example, the the lady who called said that she has a, a big problem with her daughter. Okay. Because he's, uh, no, her daughter is dating an old man. Okay. Uh, so the daughter, huh? Okay. Yeah, that, that was the, that, that was what happened. Okay. Her daughter, uh huh. Uh, Her daughter is, is 18 years. It's and I think, the old man. Uh huh. It's dating. Uh huh. It's dating. On yes. older men. Uh huh. It's dating and an older man. Older man. Okay. Uh huh. That's that's the the question. Okay. The people who were going to answer. Uh, what did the caller do? Uh-huh. What did the caller she, do? Guys? She told her daughter to stop seeing him. Okay, good. Uh, she told her uh, daughter to... Uh, uh, to stop uh, seeing him. Okay, good. Uh, the people who were going to answer what have the caller do, uh, done, according to Dr. Hilda. Uh huh. Any one of you guys? To talk with older men? Uh, to, yeah, to stop the okay, Don dating. Vicente. Don Vicente, I'm sorry that I interrupt you. I it was uh, I I asked if you if nobody answer will back to you, okay? Uh huh, okay, good. Uh, thank you, Don Vicente. Very good. You, you have a participate a lot. Great, that's good. Um, there are people who I asked to answer the, the last question. Uh huh. Anyone? Anyone? Any idea? Number three, teacher. Yes, number three. Uh, he invited uh, two friends in the house, and I the uh, told about Polit. Uh huh. No, but we are still we are still in in caller number one. So we already answered. What's happened to the caller? Uh, her daughter is dating an older man, and what did the caller do? Uh, she told her daughter to stop seeing the men. Don't speak. Don't talk about police. Uh huh. But uh, that was number three. Yeah. No hablar de política. Uh -huh. No, 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 but we're answering the question from, we're still in color number one, uh, Brenda, I guess. We're still in color number one. Uh, yes, Mr. The Hilda recommend to stop to dating her daughter. Ah, okay. An so, older man. Ah, okay. So Hilda recommended that... Uh, uh, the mother asked her daughter to stop uh, dating the, the men, right? Is that what you say? Yes, mister. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, the time is gone. I, hope, uh, I wouldn't let, let's see, let me take the, so the uh, Hilda, let's, uh, Hilda recommended, um, uh, to ask her uh, daughter her, oops, her daughter to stop seeing the men. Okay, good. Okay, good. 
So we will stop there. We'll, uh, we'll leave the color two and color three for tomorrow's class. Let me take the uh, your attendance. Okay, let me take your attendance, please. Uh, let's see if I am on the correct one. Uh, Ileana, Janet, Irma, Raquel, Jaime, Joanna, no, you're not from here, right? No. No, no, no. But now I got it. Uh, Ana Soriano Elizabeth, Ana Sonia Elizabeth, Ana Sonia, Andrea Estera Costa, Dear teacher. Brenda Claribel Mejia Segovia, Present, Mr. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. I'm here. Claudia Maria Gom Gomez Canizales. Present teacher. Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present, Mr. Uh, Giovanni Josue González Olmedo. Jennifer Mauset Arevalo Flores. Present, Mr. Uh, Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present teacher. Catherine Mariel Vázquez Flores. Present. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena de Los Ángeles. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, mister. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present teacher. No es Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Nor Norma Lisbeth Crespín Orellana. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Saraí Noemí Trejos Ulloa. Vicente, Vicente Israel Sánchez Terazo. Present teacher. Y Wendy Lisset Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Good. Okay, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is to send you the audio, okay? I will send you the audio and try to practice to get the answer to Aurel. But I will do it tomorrow in the morning, okay? Not. Or do you want me okay. to do it today? Excellent. Or you okay. want me to do it today? <laughs> No, I guess you have to have okay. good night. You have to have dinner. I'll send it to you and try to answer. Don't miss the class tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.